Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to upload your own, um, how to register your own NPM package in the npmjs.com registry. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first thing you want to do is you want to visit the npmjs.com website and just create an account if you haven't already. It's pretty simple. And then once you're done with that, uh, they will ask you to verify your email. So make sure to do that too, or else you wouldn't be able to publish a package. Okay, so when that's done, uh, you can actually create, we can actually start our project right now. So we can just uh, do something like this. We can just create a folder. I'm just gonna create it in desktop. I'm just gonna name this npm uh, tutorial uh, package, something like this, okay? And then I'm just gonna open it with Visual Studio Code. Assuming you guys already downloaded Visual Studio Code, you can use any code editor, of course. But I'm pref I prefer using Visual Studio Code. Uh, make sure you install Node.js as well. I'm pretty sure you guys installed it. Installed it already. So once you're in here, you're just gonna go to terminal, new terminal, and then uh, we're gonna initiate a new project. So we can do this by doing npm init. Okay. So as you can see, your package name. So this, the name of this, uh, is gonna be the package name in your npm JS. So make sure uh, you want it to be correct. So in my case, I want it to be npm tutorial package. So I'm just gonna leave it like that version 1.0 sure uh just say uh npm package tutorial youtube.com slash recon alex something like that and three points so this is the main file so in my case i'm it's going to be in that js so i'm not going to change this test command we're going to ignore this git repository you can add a git repository a link in here if you want keywords is going to be the keywords that you're going to search like for example if you search for npm js uh, npm package for my package if you search for one of these keywords my package is going to show, show up so yeah you can include it if you want i'm just i'm not going to include any keywords order will be recon lx license let's just make it isc and then just click yes or just click enter all right so you can access this package JSON if you want to make changes so you can change the name you can change the description okay and then um once you're done with this just create a new file called index.js so as you can see here in package.json let me just okay the main file is actually index.js so whatever code in here whatever you're exporting here will be uh will be exported so let's just say uh, you want to export a function so let's just do module.exports let me just export an object first all right so in this function i'm just going to do um function and then do something like hello world hello world function okay so it's uh, i'm not going to take any parameters so we just need to console.log and then um hello world okay so you can just add a random function okay and then um you just have to pass it in in the over here hello world okay you can just pass it in like that and then yeah it should be good to go so let me just add one more function function um sum and we're gonna get a b and we're gonna sum return a plus b okay or we can just do return console log so you can actually log the stuff out okay, let me just okay do this all right so once you've done with your code and then you can just go to terminal again new terminal so if i haven't logged into your um npm uh, you can just log in really quickly by doing npm npm login all right just do npm login and then you ask for your username i'll just say recon alex password you can type in your password so once you type it it doesn't actually really uh it doesn't show stars or anything it's just gonna show a blank so once you're done and confident with your password just click on enter and you move to the next line and then let me just retype my password npm login let me just retype uh recon alex uh let me just type my password okay and then my email mission2025 at gmail.com feel free to spam my email i'm not really i'm not really using it so as you see here log in into recon alex on npm registry okay in the registry and then this is actually my account to recon alex so um 
to check if you're really logged in just to npm who am i and it'll, if you're logged in it will show your username right here so let's just wait for it as, as you can see here recon alex so to publish a package is actually really really simple so just go to package json all right npm tutorial package all you need to do is do npm publish so before we publish i'm just gonna explain something about the names so if you want to name something like um, test, but it has already been used in the um, NPM registry, the name has been used, as you can see here, it's used. You can scope it to your own um, package. So something like, if I show you one of my packages, as you can see here, Discord.js is actually a used package. So I scope it to my username slash Discord.js. So you can do this by doing um, add and then your username over here, username. So in my case, it's going to be recon Alex. And then slash. And then here, you just pass in your package name. So you test. Okay, for this example, I'm not going to use a uh, username scoped packages. So I'm just going to put it uh, as npm uh, publishing npm packages tutorial. So I'm going to name this. All right. So if you want to scope it to your own username, you can just do that. All right. So once you're done with this, just do npm publish and just click on enter. Okay, it will start publishing. It will take some time. And you see your npm packages tutorial. It should be published once you see this notice over here. Then you can actually now search for this. So let me just copy the um, name and then let's just search it on the registry. So let me just, oops. Um. It's actually not registered yet. I think we need to wait for some time for it to get registered. It should normally take for a, a few minutes to, for it to get registered. Okay, let's just ignore that. Uh, we can try to install this package over here and then we can use it in our other project. So let's just create a new file and let's just test this out. So new, new folder, and I'm just gonna name this um, testing packages so in here we're gonna actually import our npm pu uh, npm package and then we're gonna use it so let me just quickly uh, go through the setup okay so we can do oh I think it's I think it will show in my pro packages over here I'm pretty sure yeah, as you can see here, it's shown in the packages. So click on here, click on packages, and you should see your package. Yeah, I don't even know why I didn't think of that. So I'll be showing you guys how to add a description after this. Okay, as you see here, there's no readme. So let me just, I'll show you guys how to do this afterwards. So uh, for now, we're going to test our package. So for here, we're just going to do npm, uh, uh, npm init-y to initiate our project, and then we can test our project out. So we just do npm i and then pass in the package name. All right. We just create a folder. I mean a file. Bean time in the js. So in here we can actually call the function. So we can just cons equals require and then npm packages tutorial as you can see here. And then uh, we can require the function. What was the function again? I totally forgot. Okay, hello world. Okay, I forgot to actually I forgot to pass in the sum. So let me just hello world. As you can see, there's intelligence, and then we can just do hello world. We can you call the function. Okay, and then we can try to run this file. No index.js and it's here it locks out hello world okay i spelled that wrongly again so let me just uh fix it okay as you see i spelled that wrongly so now i'll teach be teaching you guys how to add a readme.md and making new changes to your project um to do this it's actually pretty easy so go to your npm package uh, there, uh folder and just create a file called readme.md.md Okay, and here you can sh uh, use a markdown cheat sheet or whatever, it's called markdown. You can just google it up and then you can see tons of um, how to use this markdown over here. So you can just do something like um, YouTube tutorial, 
please download or something we shouldn't back um we can do that youtube tutorial uh i'm publishing i'm publishing soon um join discord for support something like this you can add anything you want literally there's a lot of syn uh, syntax you can find it in google cheat sheet whatever okay and then now we're gonna go to index.js and import uh fix some errors so we can just do hello world change add an l and then in here we're gonna export um some as well okay so if you try to do this if you try to publish again okay it will throw an error because the package okay as you see here um you can't publish our previously published versions so to fix this all you need to do is go to package.json and just increment one of these numbers so in this case it's gonna be a minor update so I'm just gonna increment here okay and then um, let me just do npm publish and then it should publish so let's just wait for it to publish okay as you see here it is published and if I go to uh, my the website, it should update, but I don't think it will update that quickly. Yeah, it updated as you can see here 1.1.1.10 is the newest version, and then as you can see here now there's a readme.mt YouTube tutorial I'm publishing soon, which is uh this written over in here readme.md is the same thing. Basically, you can write whatever you want. Join Discord for support. And then yeah, so we're gonna re-update in our project. So we're gonna test this out again. So we're gonna do npm update recon lx. Oops, I used the wrong package name. npm update, and then we're gonna pass in the package name, uh, which is our package name. So we can just do that real quick. Okay, let's just update that, and then we should be able to access more functions. So some. As you can see here, there is some right now, so we can actually uh, use like some, and then uh, we can do some ten, and then we can some ten and twenty. So you just run the file again. Index.js is here thirty. Okay, so this is really really easy. If you find any errors or you need help, just leave a comment. I'll try to respond to every single comment. Uh, every single comment about this. Um, if you want more stable support feel free to join the support server discord support server links will be in the description um if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe it really helps your channel out other than that have a nice day see you again in the next video bye